story recapped here. Today I'm gonna explain a horror and thriller film called Shark Night. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. At a lake somewhere, Jess decides to swim on her own, unaware that something is lurking in the water. However, it's just her boyfriend Keith, who removes her bikini top and throws it away. Then, Keith leaves to get something to eat, and that's when Jess gets attacked by a shark. Meanwhile, Nick talks to his friend Gordon and tells him to be quiet while playing a video game, but he eventually ends up joining him. Then, Malik suddenly bursts into the room and blames Nick for getting a low grade. But, as it turns out, he's just kidding. So Malik invites Nick to Lake Crosby to celebrate. But Nick politely refuses because he has to prepare for his exams. However, Malik won't take no for an answer, saying they're going to Sarah Polsky's house. Moments later, Malik reveals to his friends that he plans to propose to his girlfriend, Maya. After that, Malik greets his other buddy, Blake. And it isn't long before Beth and Maya show up in a car. Then Sarah arrives too, leaving her dog in Nick and Gordon's care. Once everyone is ready, the group heads to Lake Crosby. They then stop by a bait shop, where Sarah tells them their phones won't work there. Seconds later, Sarah goes to the restroom with Beth, who can't help but admire Nick. However, Sarah doesn't want to talk about boys and reminds Beth to be gentle with Nick. On the other hand, Malik gets into a heated argument with a man named Red when he disrespects Maya. So Red's friend Dennis steps in, and it's revealed that he knows Sarah. Dennis makes fun of Sarah for being in college, but she just ignores him and says they need to go. Eventually, Dennis and Red leave, but Malik is still upset about the encounter. After that, Sarah takes her friends to the island on a boat. However, Sarah's driving attracts the sheriff's attention but she doesn't stop and speeds away instead. Eventually, the sheriff catches up to them when they reach the Polsky's vacation house near the lake. And as it turns out, he's Sarah's friend. Sheriff Sabin greets Sarah and her friends and casually talks about his job. And as he's about to leave, he asks Blake for some beer. Then, he tells Sarah he'll drop her mail the next day, adding that it's good to see her after three long years. Once the sheriff is gone, everyone enters the house and changes into their swimwear. Then, Nick asks Malik about Sarah, and Malik reveals that he's never seen her go out on a date. Malik says Sarah prefers to hang out with her dog, Sherman. And sure enough, Nick sees her playing with her pet. Moments later, Malik goes water skiing with Nick, Blake, and Maya. However, Malik and his friends are unaware that there's a shark in the lake. Then, the shark keeps bumping into Malik's board, but Maya and Blake don't realize that he might be in trouble. Unfortunately, the shark soon knocks Malik over, causing his friends to turn around the boat. Seconds later, Blake takes Malik's board from the water, but but Malik is nowhere to be seen. Then, Maya notices Malik swimming toward the shore. But as it turns out, his arm has been severed. With no time to waste, Malik's friends immediately tend to him and cover his wound to stop the bleeding. Unfortunately, Gordon fails to call for help because there's no reception there. But Beth tells him to keep trying. On the other hand, Sarah runs back to the house to get the first aid kit. And when she returns, the guys are already fighting because Blake thinks Nick ran over Malik's arm. Once Nick has the first aid kit, he quickly wraps wraps a bandage around Malik's wound and instructs Gordon to get a stick. Then, when Gordon returns with a thick stick, Nick uses it to make a tourniquet for his friend. After that, Nick checks the time before diving back into the lake to search for Malik's severed arm. Soon, Nick sees the arm hidden in some water plants, but he also realizes there's a shark in the water. As soon as Nick retrieves Malik's arm, he immediately swims back to the docks. Nick and Sarah can't believe that they just saw a shark, but they don't have time to think about that and rushes to the boat to take Malik to to the hospital. Of course, the others also find it hard to believe that there's a shark in that saltwater lake. Meanwhile, Nick puts Malik's arm inside the cooler and instructs Gordon, Blake, and Maya to get off the boat so Sarah can reach the hospital faster. However, Maya refuses to leave her boyfriend, so Nick just lets her come with them. On their way to the hospital, nobody notices that Malik's blood is dripping into the lake and attracting the shark. However, it isn't long before the predator bumps into the boat, causing Maya to fall into the water. So Nick instructs Sarah to stop the boat and quickly throws the life buoy to Maya before they move again. Unfortunately, the shark soon catches up to Maya and devours her, and it also damages the boat's steering column. With no way to stop the boat, the trio jumps into the water just as it crashes into the docks and causes an explosion. Now that they're back
back at the vacation house, the guys carefully lay Malik on the bed and realize they need to get someone out there. Gordon then goes to the boathouse to get some flares. While on the other hand, Beth starts to panic and blames Sarah for everything that's happening. Moments later, they use the flare to signal for help, but Sabin is too busy to notice it. So Nick has no other choice but to continue tending to Malik's needs, and he thanks Sarah for taking care of him. Meanwhile, Blake fires several warning shots when he notices a boat arriving, but it's just Red and Dennis. Nick then quickly asks for their help, but Red won't stop mocking them and eventually angers Blake. Fed up, Blake points the gun at Red, but the guy easily knocks him down and takes the gun from him. However, Red stops when Dennis tells him to, and they soon learn what happened to Maya and Malik. Despite their differences, Dennis offers to head to the marina to radio the medevac, which will chop her out a surgeon within the hour. Then, Beth decides to go with Dennis and Red, forcing Gordon to come with them too. Later on, Blake checks on Malik and informs him a doctor is coming down there. However, Malik becomes devastated when he learns Maya is dead. Meanwhile, Nick can't help but feel guilty about what happened to Maya. Then, he asks Sarah why he only returned turned there after three years, so she reveals Dennis is her ex-boyfriend. According to Sarah, Dennis took her to their favorite diving spot before she left for college, but something went wrong, and she immediately thought her air gauge was broken. However, Dennis only stared at her when she asked for his help and just drifted away. Somehow, Sarah made it to the surface and climbed up to their boat before she spun around to leave, cutting Dennis' face open with a propeller. After that, Sarah took Dennis to the hospital, and she never returned to that place again. On the other hand, Red tells Beth and Gordon that the shark that killed Maya probably got into the lake due to the hurricane. At the same time, an angry Malik takes a harpoon to kill the shark that devoured his girlfriend. Unfortunately, Nick fails to stop him from getting in the water and doubts his friend will even see the shark, but Malik is confident that the predator will soon find him. Sure enough, a hammerhead shark gets attracted to Malik's blood and starts attacking him, but he manages to kill it with Nick's help. Back in the boat, Dennis turns off the engine and tells Beth and Gordon to stay put, unaware that the girl has taken a knife. Then, Dennis orders Gordon to get in the water, threatening to shoot him and revealing that they put the shark in the lake. Unfortunately, Dennis gets impatient and shoots Gordon, causing him to fall overboard. So Gordon quickly swims toward a mangrove tree and climbs it, only to be eaten by the bull shark that suddenly jumps out of the water. Concurrently, Nick and Blake take the dead hammerhead shark to shore. They also try to tend to Malik, who just sustained more wounds. Then, Nick realizes that the hammerhead shark wasn't the one that killed Maya, and it isn't long before he finds the camera attached to its belly. On the other hand, Blake decides to take Malik to the hospital using the Wave Runner, and before they leave, he apologizes to Nick for snapping at him earlier. Meanwhile, Dennis orders Beth to undress, not noticing the knife she's hiding. Beth then quickly stabs Red, but the guy doesn't really mind the pain and just takes the knife out of his chest before threatening to bite her. However, Dennis stops him, and they attach a camera to a pole to show Beth the cookie cutter sharks in the lake. Red also feeds them with fish, but Dennis soon pushes Beth into the water. Unfortunately, Beth fails to swim away because of the net, and the guys happily watch on their computer as the small sharks feast on the girl. At the lake house, Sabin is immediately questioned by Nick and Sarah when he arrives, wondering if the medevac came. However, the sheriff has no idea what they're talking about and says he's there because he saw the bonfire, and that's when he notices the shark on the shore. Then, once he learns about everything that happened, he calls and orders his men to patrol the lake and make sure the hospital is ready for Malik's arrival. Seconds later, Nick suddenly faints after eating the soup that Sabin brought, so the sheriff and Sarah help him to the couch, unable to see Sherman eating the soup that spilled on the floor. At the same time, Malik notices that a shark is following them, so without hesitation, he sacrifices sacrifices himself so Blake can escape. However, Blake has no intention of leaving Malik alone and goes back for him, but it's already too late. Inside the lake house, Sabin instructs Sarah to get a cold towel for Nick. Sarah does as she's told, but she gets surprised to see an unconscious Sherman on the floor. Then, Sarah hears Dennis on the radio talking about Beth's death, making her realize the sheriff can't be trusted. Scared, Sarah takes a knife for protection and quietly approaches Sabin, but Dennis suddenly shows up and stops her. Despite Despite that, Sarah bravely fights back and bites Dennis' hand before trying to flee, but her ex-boyfriend shoots her with a tranquilizer
surprise her. Meanwhile, just when Blake thinks he's already safe, a shark suddenly jumps out of the water and devours him. Moments later, Nick wakes up in the boathouse and finds himself bound to a chair. He also realizes the place is surrounded by sharks, but there's nothing much he can do. On the other hand, Dennis locks Sarah in a shark cage and reveals he still resents her for what she did to his face. Then, Dennis orders Red to get rid of Sherman because he's noisy, and the guy nonchalantly throws Sarah's dog into the water. In the boathouse, Sabin reveals to Nick that he's been inspired by a show called Shark Week to record videos of people getting eaten by sharks. Alongside Dennis and Red, Sabin is sure that Shark Week's viewers will pay extra money to watch the real thing they can't get on basic cable. Of course, Nick finds that despicable, but the sheriff doesn't really care about what he thinks. Meanwhile, Sarah distracts Dennis by saying she came back to make things right between them before snatching away his gun. Sarah points the gun at Dennis and orders him to open the cage, but the guy manages to take his firearm back. Then, Dennis calls the bait shop owner Carl and instructs him to prepare the great white shark, revealing he's also their accomplice. On the other hand, Sabin cuts Nick's leg and causes him to accidentally spill gasoline. Then, Sabin lowers Nick into the water using an electric cable hoist, eager to feed him to the tiger sharks. However, Sabin lifts Nick again just to tease him, unaware that he's starting to use a lighter to burn the cable ties binding his hands. Nick then throws the lighter on the floor soaked in gasoline and watches as Sabin burns. But the sheriff quickly jumps into the water, so Nick immediately frees himself and closes the glass trap door, leaving Sabin to be eaten by the tiger shark. After that, Nick immediately dives into the water to save Sarah, who's about to be fed to a shark. Once Dennis lowers the cage into the lake, he casually dumps fish guts and blood on her to attract the predator. However, Nick suddenly shows up and holds Red hostage, ordering Dennis to bring Sarah up. Unfortunately, Dennis doesn't really care about Red and throws a knife at his friend, instantly killing him when he gets hit in the chest. Enraged, Dennis attacks Nick and strangles him, but Nick fights back and knocks him into the water. Then Nick tries to bring Sarah back up, only to fail when Dennis climbs the cage and detaches it from the hook, so Nick once again attempts to save Sarah, but he eventually gets into a struggle with Dennis. As if that isn't enough, a great white shark suddenly appears and heads their way. Sarah then pulls Dennis by the hair and repeatedly hits his head on the cage, allowing Nick to escape. At the same time, Sarah quickly ties Dennis' leg to the cage and gives him the middle finger before he gets eaten by the shark. Meanwhile, Nick finds Sherman swimming in the water and takes the power head from him, which he uses to kill the shark that's about to devour Sarah. Then, Nick quickly takes Sarah to the boat and performs CPR on her, and she eventually regains consciousness. Now that they're safe, Sarah can't help but kiss Nick to show appreciation for saving her life. But unfortunately, it is soon revealed that there are more sharks in the lake. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.